Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but... We got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Sugar? You ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not. Get away! Hey! <laughs> 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 I 
don't know. Column's got a sense. <clears throat> Handing them over to the law, it's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. <clears throat> With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. He's escaping, shoot him! Relax! Relax. I got him. I got him. <clears throat> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. <laughs> not yet. But I will. <clears throat> Finally! Put his weapons over there! Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Gomp. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Ain't nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hang you. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you.
want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <clears throat> My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. Uh, that's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home.
I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. <laughs>